Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be reviewing the TimeTag PD11 portable SSD drive. I am using a TimeTag product for the first time, but I have read a lot of positive online user reviews regarding TimeTag's RAM and internal SSD products. TimeTag with its PD11 is targeting people with its quality and speed at a reasonable price. I will review the 512 GB version of this PD-11 that is available for $47. In this review, we will see how the PD-11 really performed and explore how it fares in real-world usage. It really feels premium and it has more weight than I expected. It looks good in this aluminium greyish casing. On one side, it has a USB Type-A connector, while on the other, it has a Type-C connector. Through this small glass panel, you can see inside, I really like its small and compact design. It can easily fit in your pocket. Before diving deep into this review, let's see its specifications. Its read speed is 1050 megabytes per second. Its write speed is 900 megabytes per second. It supports PC, Mac, and phones. It's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 drive, but it's backwards compatible. This SSD has NAND memory, which is mostly being used in modern SSDs these days. At normal room temperature, its temperature was 34 degrees centigrade. The performance of this SSD was tested on Crystal Disk Mark, and here you can see the results. Next, I will see the real world performance of this SSD because in real world, the SSD performance is affected by many factors like your processor, RAM, and the SSD type of your computer. So, the laptop I'm using has a Core i7. It has 16 GB of DDR4 RAM and a 1 TB SSD. First test, I will be transferring video, game, photos and docs. You can see the size of the respective files and the time taken to transfer from my laptop to the PD11 SSD. For the video, it took under 1 second. For the game, it took 33 seconds. And for the photos, it took 8.5 seconds. And for the docs folder, it took 8.3 seconds. In this second test, I will see how much time it takes to copy back these files from the SSD to my PC. And for the videos, it took under 1 second. For the game, it took 49 seconds. For the photos, it took 6 seconds. And for the docs, it took 6.3 seconds. In this third test, I selected all the files and sent them to the PD11 SSD from my PC. And the total size was 27.8 GB and it took 50 seconds. For the fourth test, I copied back the files from the portable SSD to my PC. And it took 1 minute and 13 seconds to transfer 27.8 GB of files. For having a comparison test, I transferred the files of my PC to a SanDisk Extreme portable drive. And for 27.8 GB of data, it took me 50 seconds. And when I transferred these files back to my PC from that SanDisk Extreme, it took me 1 minute and 9 seconds for 27.8 GB of data. So the performance of the PD-11 SSD is almost the same as the performance of the SanDisk Extreme. I also wanted to see the performance of the PD-11 with a larger file, so I transferred a 36.8 GB video file to the PD-11 for my PC and it took 59 seconds and when I copied it back to my PC from the PD-11, it took me 1.39 minutes. I am satisfied with the performance of this SSD. The transfer times can vary because they are linked with the specifications of your computer.
the transfer time of the SanDisk Extreme Pro and the TimeTech PD-11 are almost same. But there is a considerable difference between the prices of both of these portable SSDs. Maybe in the future I will update you guys about how this SSD performed over time in comparison to the SanDisk Extreme. You can conveniently transfer data from your phone to the SSD or from the SSD to your phone. Just connect the Type-C connector to your phone. It will be detected by the phone and you can select pictures or videos or anything and just send it to the SSD. The small size of the SSD makes it very convenient. I also tried transferring a video game from my Xbox to the SSD and it was very easy and very fast. It took only few minutes to transfer a 50 GB game. I also downloaded a game directly to the PD-11 SSD drive. Here you can see how much time it took to load the game. As you can see, it just took few seconds for loading the game. This was really impressive. And this was all about today's video. I tried to review this SSD in a simple and brief way. This SSD performed quite well in the tests, but I want to see how it performs in the long run. Maybe I will make another follow-up video. If this video was helpful for you, a like will be really appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, have a good one.